Alright, hello. And, uh, welcome back to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Now, there's a lot of strange things going on with this game. Um, mostly... Radio. I've been recording the pattern for three hours and so far have accumulated over three megabytes of binary data. The pattern does not, at this point, seem to be part of any recognizably closed loop, but there remains symmetry, despite the conflicts. Okay. That's interesting. So it sounds like she was studying these events of what was going on and trying to figure it out and it sounds like this town was under quarantine for some kind of disease and it sounds like they're all coughing up blood and they're all uh, very sick and very ill and um, can't go that way and they were all trying to figure out ways they could survive this illness and uh, you know, doing different cures and home remedies, and they're saying, you know, if we can't help, if they won't help us, then we should help ourselves. So they're trying to help each other. Electrical failures all over Tower 6. The light is flowing like liquid. Its sense of purpose is overwhelming. There's something in... Steven? Steven, is that you? Hmm. Very strange. I can't go to this house. Can't go out this fence. And I think we're back where we started from. Because that's where we started. We went over there. Alright, so we have to go over this way now. Because it'd be terrible if I'm backtracking and it's like, oh, I've already been over there. It doesn't even reach the back fence, silly little bugger. Well, loaves and fishes we can manage, Father but garden design is a little bit. Might I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Meg, will you excuse us, please? Uh, see you back at Charlie's later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. He sees. I just pray can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with bring shame on this parish. <gasps> if you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. What the crap is... Jeremy! Now where are you tell me? Jeremy, oh come on man. He like so like he killed her or put her out of her ministry. What the heck? And he's a man of the cloth and it sounds like Mary was his daughter or something? What What in the actual heck? This is so weird. I'm so freaked out. Holy crap, it's dark in here. What? I can't go in? The heck? I'm stuck on the door and I gotta go in. The heck? Holy crap, it's dark in here. I wish I had a flashlight. So I could just see where I was going. What the heck? Okay. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Um, there's a Bible. So, what the heck? 
That's kind of weird. The thing. Okay. So it doesn't like there's anything in here, so there's no point in coming in here. Other than I could. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna go back around, because I couldn't go that way for some reason, because there's a gate there. Whoever built this church? <laughs> That's where. These are some old graves, too. Alright, we can go back down the hill. Oh crap, I have to go this way. Because, uh, I can't go that way because of the hedges. We're gonna go, um, I wonder if there's anything over here. I'm gonna look over here. Okay, so that's locked. Uh, oh, excuse me. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't make this anything over here. Other than a gravestone. Hold on. Two seconds. Alright. Hello, everyone. Sorry. I'm back. So, uh, I had a little break because I had to walk off and do some things. And, uh, yeah, now I'm back. And we're gonna keep looking around and see what's going on with this. It's like they're donating a bunch of toys. If you could just have a word with them, perhaps, would they listen to you? Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think that what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. <laughs> it's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? Jeremy, what did you do? Bro, man. The hell. You are a very bad person. So it sounds like Jeremy had Mary, who was his daughter, and I think he killed her because that's what they're talking about. And it's not like he helped kill her, but he like gave her too much morphine to put her out of her misery. And it's like, you know, it sounds like he was, he did a bad thing. And yeah, not good. Not good at all. But it's over here. Looks like she was reading a Bible back here. This is a really pretty backyard. I like this backyard. So, as you know, this, this game has a lot to do with the Bible. And the rep, uh, you know, the, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't remember my point. Anyways, so yeah, this game is a lot of, like, things toward, toward that area. And so whether you believe in it or not, that's for you to say, you know, whatever, but I'm not going to condone my religion and what I believe, and yeah. Looks like the quarantine note fell off this door, but there's no one home. It looks like we're on Shepherd's Walk. We were that way, I think. I don't think I've seen this house back here. And... I know I've been to different places in this village. I don't remember... Oh yeah, I was at this... I haven't been to the park yet, so I want to go to the park. Wait, have I been there? 
says I can go here. We haven't seen a single, you know, dead body or anything like that. What we're seeing is like, uh, like memories of people, uh, of the past and it's like there's no explanation answers as to who you are so it's like a really weird mystery and I would love to know um, who we used to like who we are because it's like there's no uh, information of that sorry I have to go back the other way because I, I couldn't go that way because it was blocked um, so let's go back the way we came Wish I could have gone back that way, but no, the hexes are in the way and you can't jump in this game. Yeah. And you're supposed to be able to run, but running doesn't do anything and that button doesn't let me run or nothing, so. Alright, let's go down to the park, because I haven't been there yet. I've been up there. Um, been over there, I think. Yeah, alright, let's go over here, because I want to go look at the park. That's one place we haven't been. And he keeps going back to the park, so there has to be something important over here where he was like in the park, at the park, there's like things in the water, um, but yeah, we're just exploring around right now, we're following this guy's story, uh, Jeremy, and we're seeing where he's going, because he kind of leads you where you need to go and sometimes he's just kind of wandering around he keeps coming back to the park like it's important but yeah we'll head back up where we were which was over here uh... to that garage and I keep trying to click on him Benjamin, Georgie, leave it alone. It might have fleas. No, Amanda, what are they up to? Oh, they found another dead bird. I do wish the council would clean them up. Well, apparently they're saying it's a flu epidemic. And I gather oh. they'll be closing the roads and stations. So they're worried enough for that. Oh, for goodness sake. Well, you don't mess about with the flu outbreak, I suppose. But look, I'm just saying, if you were planning on taking the kids to Wales, now might be the time to do it. Well, thanks, Barbara. I have a word with Neil, see what he thinks. Now, George, Benjamin, for God's sake, leave it alone! Alright, so, yeah, there you go. So there's more information for you. So I knew there was something here. There was a, there was a reason why he kept coming back to the park. And I'm sitting there going, there has to be a reason why he's here. He keeps going back to the park, and now he's over there again. I guess. And I keep clicking on him, but nothing happens. So I wonder if you can do that at the very end of this where you can just click on him and figure out what to do because I keep clicking on him and nothing happens and it's like you know what is in here nothing why am I going so slow all of a sudden yeah there's nothing in here Mag come and have a look at this Oh, I don't believe it. Charlie? Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? Well, it looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Okay. Alright, let's keep going.
see from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. <sighs> I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. But Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. This pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Wow. Well, they obviously didn't do it because. Hold on. This town is still here. I'm telling you something upstairs because I can hear it from here. Okay, so there's nothing in here that there would be. I can hear that radio broadcast. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so I have to go back around. Alright, so I can't get in the backyard because that gate won't open right here. Even though it's open, like I could go through it. And I clicked on it and nothing happened. See? So I can't get through there. Let's go back around this way. I don't think there's anything else here to see. Because I can't get in anywhere else. Wait. Yeah, it's coming from the garage, so how do I get in there? There's gotta be a way to get in there, because that's an important broadcast. When you're hearing that, it means there's something going on. And... I can't get in that door. I can't get in that door. That door won't open. So there's no way to get into that garage. What the heck? Alright, forget it. Whatever. Let me keep going. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know down here. The potters, huh? Man. Brambles. Doctor's surgery. So this is the doctor's office. Someone had blood. And 
hear that phone again. Dr. Wade, here you are. There's a queue of patients a mile long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable's just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose... What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor, Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Hmm. All right, so let's go. Oops, it's not the door. That's all we need to see here. And I think I've been to that white building. So I'm gonna go over there anyways. And I think that's where I came from. Okay. I'm trying to see uh you know about not backtracking because backtracking would be silly. Okay, so I can't go in there. Let's see if there's anything around the back. Usually they have stuff in the back. And nope. Okay, so nothing here. Alright, so let's continue on this road. And see where this goes. And after this, I'll pause it and we'll come back in the next episode. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed and you'll enjoy me in the next part and yeah I want to keep playing this game because it's really freaking interesting what's going on and there's just so many questions and so many weird things going on it's like holy crap you know what the heck so yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye